All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have this 2002 Ford F-150. You can see how bad it's idling. You can hear it actually. Wah, 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 wah. There's a couple vacuum leaks this thing has. And that's why it's acting like this. Put the scanner on it, there were no codes because almost it almost feels like a, a misfire. So here's one of the le vacuum leaks. Right, and this hose right here. And the other one I can hear over here, but I want to show you guys how to determine that for sure. So I got my old O'Reilly's brake parts cleaner, right? And you just start shooting it to where you suspect the engine might have a vacuum leak. So over here, nothing. And when this stuff gets sucked into the engine, it's going to make the uh, RPMs rev up. So you'll see here in a second. Right there, nothing. I'm going to shoot it right back here. Okay, you guys hear that? The RPMs went up. So the vac the engine is sucking in the brake parts cleaner, and this stuff is very combustible. So it's going right into the um, you know the cylinders, causing the uh, engine to uh, increase in RPMs. So if you guys ever think you have a vacuum leak, get yourself a can of brake parts cleaner and just spray it around your engine when you think you might have a vacuum leak. Now in this Ford, it's very very common for the uh, PCV valve or PCV hose I should say to go out so I think that's what this is on here it goes from there leads up against there to the back of the uh, back of the intake so I'm gonna go in there check it out see if I have any holes back there but uh, I just want to show you guys how you guys can check for a vacuum leak on an engine